really like an SPCA puppy. I, I've been hurt before because their owner used to whoop that dog's ass when they turn the ceiling fan off. Now, every time that ceiling fan comes on, that dog crazy. You know, start biting people, bro. You, we can't have that. But I, I definitely feel like that dog a lot of times. All right, what's going on? It's uh, March 18th. 20, I don't know, 2024. How we doing, everybody? How we doing? We're back with another podcast. It's been nice outside. I've been itching to go outside. So uh, we got this nice background here. Um, I'm going to post the YouTube link so they don't copyright strike me. I mean, come on, dude. My New York City one, I'll never I'll never let that one down. But I thought since it was nice outside, we'd you know make a nice little ambiance right here. And uh, just kind of chill. But I'm a little... Oh, shit. Hold on. We got to get in frame. I'm a little fucking pissed off, actually. I got pissed off right before. Right when I woke up. I took me a nap. Right when I got home from work. Took me a nap. And then, uh, you know, saw some shit on the news, on Instagram. Just pissed me off. And I'm going to tell you what. Virginia Beach, I'm a little not proud to be from here right now. I'm really not. Uh, So these kids... This is what I'm coming out the gate with. I'm just so fu- I'm so fucking pissed off about it. These kids, I guess they lit some patio furniture on fire around. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's some sh- shit ass, garbage ass oceanfront bar, and uh, you know people are pretty mad about it. They they ran away. And at first, you see the video. The first video is these white people. I know they're white because the lady goes. Hey Siri, can you call 911 pretty please? <laughs> I, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh my god, dude. She never responds to me like that. That was really nice. I'll tell you guys this though. Always say thank you to your Siri. Always say thank you. Be very nice to your Siri. I'm nicer to my Siri than I am to most people. Should I turn this volume down? Can you can you get the ambiance? Hold on. Let's listen for a second. Mmm. You see those stars? You see how... Ah, fuck. I'm perfectly placed in the chair. <laughs> like we're sitting and chatting. Um, but anyway, you know, they see these uh, the, the, these uh, chairs on fire and these young black males running away from the, the chair. And that came out like uh, yesterday or maybe the day before. And of course, it's Virginia Beach. People are going to be racist, you know, talking about, um, oh, those monkeys, blah, 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 and go get their bananas, where are your bananas, oh my god, it fucking pissed me off, I was so mad, I was so mad, so I went in the comments, you know, because that's what I do, I'm an Instagram commenter, I love the Instagram comments, I do fucking numbers in the Instagram comments, word doesn't matter, that's where I excel, (laughs) so, um, you know, I was seeing those, and then today, it turns out they have a uh, they got a uh, a picture of the kids, right? And so they're posting it on this Shore Drive Shuffle Instagram page. Now, if you don't know about Virginia Beach, we got the the beach, the ocean front, and then you go through some woods, whatever. You loop around the you know the the circumference of the ocean front, whatever, and you get to Shore Drive. And Shore Drive. Is where a lot, I think a lot of the white people go. I don't know, I don't know, I don't go to Shore Drive, I have no idea. Um, But, uh, you know, so this Shore Drive page is posting this, and man, man, people are being racist in the comments. They posted a picture of the kids. I said, watch out because these race, these incoming racist comments, for sure, for sure, is actually what I said. I'm sure the white people didn't like that. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> for sure and so someone already someone had already replied to me and uh, I almost got ratioed there I'm not gonna lie usually I don't I didn't think I'd get ratioed on this one but these 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 racist white people are going strong in these comments here and um, <laughs> you know this lady Kathy what, what's Kathy's uh, Instagram here well, what's Kathy's Instagram it is Ka- Kathleen Three 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 
three three. So if you guys know her, give her a good old uh, fuck you right there to her. I'll bond you out. I'll bond you out. Just kidding. I don't got no money. You know, it's all about the cause. It's all about the cause and making where we live a better place. But she got mad at me. She said, you need to stop being mad at, you know, the people that are blah, 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 and you need to be mad at the crime. Or you need to be mad at the crime and not sympathize with the criminals. And I told her, I said, you know what? You know what? It, it's It's a good thing that people like you are gonna be dying off soon. I didn't say it exactly like that, cause it's Instagram. You can't, you can't say it like that. Well, I said, you know what? I'm glad that people like you are slowly gonna die off like flies. They're gonna drop like flies. And one day, a lot of the old racists that are in Virginia Beach will be gone, and it'll be pretty nice. Man, that thing just got me fired up, man. I mean, right after Black History Month, people think they can just say whatever. Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, it's ridiculous. And you know what? Uh, to be honest with you, to be honest with you, I guess as a non-racist white person and someone who is not a person of color, um, not that I don't see the racism, but it just, uh, not, you know, it just doesn't really, I don't know. I hang out with a lot. Like, I hang out with a lot of people who, if I was racist, I would not hang out with. So, you know, vibe, shit's always chill. Shit, shit's always chill. But now I'm kind of like, I'm kind of taking on these racist white people in Virginia Beach. I'll tell you what. I'll fist fight every racist white motherfucker in Virginia Beach. They don't even got to be white. I'll, I'll fucking fist fight anybody racist around here. Just to make my city better. I mean, that, that's really what I want at the end of the day. <laughs> I'm not joking. I know I'm laughing. But um, it's kind of sickening. It's kind of sickening. It's pretty disgusting. And it's a little embarrassing, you know, to be to be from here and, and you know, see people acting like that uh, and just talking like that. And, you know, it's on Instagram and you have a private profile or you have a burner. So, you know, people really just say whatever the hell they want. I mean, it, it's horrible. It's disgusting. I, I'm really upset about it. But you know, I guess, I guess that's the world, or that's that's where I live. So, you know, whatever. Uh, anyway, back on the podcast here. I I have recorded like three different ones, you know. But uh, I don't know. I just haven't been feeling them. I haven't been feeling feeling myself recently. I got a lot going on, I guess. Um, what the hell was I just about to talk about? God damn. God damn. I don't know. Let's take the vibes in for a second. What do you think's in that pot next to us? Coffee? There's no way it's coffee. It's fucking nighttime. <laughs> What's in the pot that's steaming right now? Oh, I would love to go outside. I, I really would. I would. I would love to be right here. Right exactly here. Oh, yeah. I had to escape into my room and do a podcast because, damn, my grandma's watching The Voice out there. My grandma's old. Oh, my God, man. And that TV is just so fucking loud. It's so loud. It's like, bro, you know. And so I'm trying to escape it. And across the hall, my sister is in there. And she's watching this show called Baddies. You guys ever seen Baddies? I'm going to be honest. I don't really know what Baddies is about. But um, if you don't, <laughs> if you don't watch baddies, but you just listen to baddies from the TV, you're not looking at the TV. You would think there's cats fighting. <laughs> I mean, it's horrible. And what they do is, you know, it's a bunch of uh, I don't I don't know what they do. I don't know what they do. It's a bunch. I I I don't. I've only watched. 20 minutes of an episode because I was hanging out with a lady and, uh, <laughs> you know, they put it on, her and her her lady roommate, they put it on. And, uh, man, you know, it's like these women judging and then it's a bunch of other women. They'll come in by five or six and they'll come and I don't really know what they're looking for. It's like they're judging them. It's kind of like the – it's not at all like the voice – but, uh, 
you know, they're doing something. And they just get up there and they're like, oh, yeah, I'm the baddest bitch. And da-da-da-da-da. Y'all ain't never seen no bitch like me, you know. And that, oh, come on, come on. Oh, I got too baddie there. The camera froze. And that's kind of the basis of, of the show, I think. Uh, I don't know what they do after they get picked, but it's wild because they show all the, you know, the people that are adi- auditioning for it, and it's hundreds of girls. I mean, it's hundreds. <laughs> There's actually this rapper from, uh, I think she's from Richmond. Um, she's in a wheelchair. She's in a wheelchair, and she's really hot, and she was on the show. I think her name is Mia Money or something. She's a really she's a good rapper. She's actually a good rapper. I enjoy her music, but she's she looks very good. Uh, and so I did recognize her on the show. I thought it was pretty cool, you know. <laughs> and talking to Mason, I'm telling him about baddies. I was watching baddies over, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I know about baddies." He says he knows about baddies because of a woman he knows, and my sister. You know, I'll walk in and watch my sister watching baddies. Uh, the only thing I've seen is the women fight. A lot. Which, why do women think that they got to get on TV and fight? Who wants to see a woman fight? (laughs) Respectfully. (laughs) It's just not, I don't know, it's not cute. Like, when I see guys fighting, I'm like, these fucking assholes over here. Like, (laughs) I'm not like, yeah! You know, I'm like, you guys are idiots. Um, But I'll watch it. You know, I'll walk in when my sister's watching baddies and they're fighting or doing whatever. And I'm like, you can't watch anything else. You can't watch like a documentary or just something informative, something that's not going to kill your brain. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. To each of their own, I guess. But um, so I'm in here trying to escape from that. You know, I'm really trying to escape from a bunch of things. I think our little retreat is already making me feel better. Um. I just got a lot going on, man. You know, work sucks per usual. If you don't know, I'm a fu- I mean, I talk about it like every time I do a podcast, how much I hate work. This is really what it is. I, I hate working. You know, I don't get no benefits. I don't get paid that much. And uh, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at what I do. I, I feel like that's the main problem. And jobs that I stick around, I can stick around in a job. But the main problem is is... I can never find a place that I feel like values me. I worked at the bar for a long time. I was the bar back, and I love being the bar back. I really did. But when I was there, I was like, all right, well, I've been a bar back for a long time, and, you know, I'm about to be 24. You know, I need to be a bartender. It's time. I'm, I'm good. I was good in that, in that bar, man. I, I was fucking nice. You know, I just like to poke myself in the eye. I just like to hang out, you know. So that was my problem. I was hanging out and too mean, (laughs) which is funny because when I first started working at the bar, I was very, very reserved, you know. I mean, I was still, I guess, outgoing or however you would describe me. You know, I still like this, but I just held my tongue a lot to certain things, you know. Um, But when you work in like a bar... I mean, that's the only place I've really experienced it was at a bar or a restaurant or whatever. No, just a bar. I've worked in two different restaurants. I felt like it was not like that. I mean, I mean, at the bar, fucking, it's flying, dude. It's going. Whatever. Like, people say whatever up in that bitch. Hold on. How much space do we got here? Uh, uh. <laughs> I have a lot. I need the I need like it to hang the green screen. Anyway. Uh but you know, working at the bar, I just had to adapt. I had to get fucking mean. But then I like overcorrected and I I got too mean, you know, overshot that shit. And I got too mean. I I remember I used to <laughs> I would get in trouble for making the girls cry. It wasn't even my fault, I swear. Like <laughs> they cry all the time. Oh man. They were me. They were ruthless up in there, you know. And it was fun, but it it was definitely still fun. But uh, yeah, I just uh, what was I gonna say about my job? I don't know. But I got the whole week off next week. Thank God we're filming a a, a TV show for uh, Cliffy TV. So uh, that'll be nice, just to not I don't know, not be at work 
I don't even care about the fucking money. Even though I, I, I don't got that much money. I, I wish I did. You know, that's like the main goal. <laughs> it's just to get money. So I, I, all I need is a hundred thousand dollars. If I had a hundred thousand dollars, and just that would be it. I, I don't think you know. I have to work for maybe a couple more years, but after that, I'm good. You know, realistically, what I would like to do is just pack all my shit up and uh, be like a nomad. I want everything I own to fit in a backpack. Obviously, that can't work because I love my computer way too much. <laughs> but I've been ready to let it go. I've been ready to let everything go recently. I swear, my phone, my phone, my my just my life, like, and not in a bad way, not in a bad way, but... Sometimes, I swear, if I didn't live with my grandma, if she wasn't living right now, dude, I'd pack all my shit up and go to Alaska. I think that's where I'd go. Maybe not for too long, but maybe a year or two. Just see what it's like on the, uh, what do they call it, the last frontier? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I feel like Alaska would be cool. Uh, real cold. I like the cold, you know, and, you know, I'm sure it's beautiful up there. You know, and I, I can rock with being lonely. Uh, damn, that should have been the picture. Come on, camera. There we go. That should have been the picture. I've been trying to draw some pictures as the background, but they're just, they're just horrid. They're horrible. So I, I, I had to come up with this one. Um, but I, I could draw. I can draw these mountains really well. Snow-capped mountains. Imagine kind of like this. You know, we got maybe like a house. Over there, over here, we got a house, a lake, and mountains back there, and a lot of trees. And I think I could live out there for a while with a dog. Just a dog. Maybe two dogs. Maybe three. I could handle three dogs. <laughs> I just saw uh, sometimes I'm ready to escape it all. Especially because, uh, you know, I'm an idiot, and I, I am just sucked into social media so much. I've been trying to learn about uh, 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 dopamine and, and, and just, um, well, that's why I watch a video on. I watch a video on dopamine and just, you know, thinking. I'm trying to keep my brain very healthy. I want my brain to be firing on all cylinders all the time, you know, like, you know, how some people think, oh, I need Adderall. I just want to be, I just want my mind to be on Adderall all the time. And the, uh, I'll give you a little tip here. The only reason they give people Adderall is because, you know, if you have ADHD, which I might have, I don't know, but I'm not getting on no damn Adderall. I, I can't do it. I won't survive. <laughs> I remember I got a bottle of Adderall one time. And, you know, I, f I like drugs. So I'm an idiot. I'm a test of waters because if you go outside without knowing your limit of what drugs you do, if you go outside and you can't handle it, you look like an idiot. I'm a, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I remember one time um, I was hanging out with these people from high school. It was like right when we graduated, so they were all having bonfires on the uh, – they would all do bonfires on the beach. And I didn't really know these people too well. I, I knew the people. I went to high school with them. Whatever. But uh, I didn't know them too, too well. I just, you know, I'm friends with them, whatever. I don't know why I went out there. I think I was trying to get with one of the girls. I don't fucking know. Probably. And uh, so, you know, I brought this joint I had. I had a joint or a blunt or whatever. And so we're at the beach, and it's like a big-ass group of us, and we're sitting around a campfire similar to this one, similar, similar to this one. And, um, you know, we're like, oh, let's go smoke this. Let's go smoke this. And so it's me, you know, two other girls, and this one girl, right? So we walk away from the group, whatever, and we start smoking. And this one girl has never smoked weed before. <laughs> So, you know, we're all we're all getting lifted, you know what I'm saying? And this girl's like, I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything. She wasn't coughing or nothing. So we had to tell her, like, look, girl, you got to pull that in. You got to pull it into your lungs, and you can't just let it sit in your mouth, you goofball. And so, uh, you know, we go around one more time, and we're like, are you sure? You don't want it. And she's like, I'll take it. So we give it to her. 
And I guess she must have listened to the instructions because she took it. She took it, and, uh, you know, she just started coughing. I mean, what? <laughs> and we're all walking back to the, the pit of fire, and she's so, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Whatever, shit's cool. And so I'm I'm 18-year-old high. I'm not even 18 at this point. I'm 17. I'm 17-year-old high, so I'm like fucking high. And, uh, you know, I'm sitting next to the girl. <laughs> And dude, she starts standing. You ever seen a horror movie where they open the door and the lady's like crunched up in a ball like this, just rocking back and forth? She was doing that right next to me. And in my head, I'm like, yo, this bitch is fucking tweaking right now. I'm sorry I called her bitch during Women's History Month. That was fucked up of me. I'm a psycho. <laughs> anyway, so she starts fucking bugging. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, shit. And she starts freaking out, like verbally freaking out now. And she's telling all these people this. And I, I don't fucking know these people, nor do I really like these people either. So they're like, they start thinking my weave is laced. They're like, what did you give her? Hey, 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 hey. I'm like, dude, I'm 18. You think I'm getting... I'm 17. You think I'm getting laced weed? And all of us smoked it, too. And we're not fucking sitting here bugging like we're in a horror movie. Oh, my God. I sw- it was the most... Ho- and I started to get scared. Because then they're all putting me on the spot. I didn't drive. Someone came and picked me up. So I'm stranded out here with these freaking freaks. They're about to kill me. Because they think I laced their friends. And so I had to have one of the girls, uh, one of the girls, I don't know, some other girl, she, she's like, all right, well, come on, let's go smoke it. Which is funny now because they're all accusing me of having laced weed. And this girl's like, I guess we'll see. <laughs> and, uh, you know, she ended up telling them the weed was fine and whatever. But, oh, my God, that was horrifying. That girl, to this day, I'll never forget that. And to this day, the, the girl just makes me uncomfortable. She was like, am I going to be like this forever? Like, come on. Handle your shit, lady. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. And then when I worked at the club a lot, you know, um, it was like an EDM club. So let's be honest. People were doing drugs in there. I'm not talking weed, neither. That is some crazy. Man, can y'all hear this dog barking? I mean, I can't get no fucking peace around here, man. That's why I stay up late. Really? It's quiet at night. I need it. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, uh, the girl. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, a couple times at the club, people have had seizures. And we do have flashing lights, but I'm telling you, them seizures are, are them seizures are from drugs. I'm telling you right now. And uh, our people that come up and, can I have some water? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, come on, control yourself. Can I have water? <laughs> Can you people control yourselves? You know what you look like right now? <laughs> we all know. We all know. You know, you try and think in your head, oh, oh just play it cool, play it cool. And then you go up there, yeah, water. <laughs> like, motherfucker, you did not play that cool at all. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. I got something else to talk about. I just want to transition into this. I guess I'm talking about my lady. I'm not going to call her my lady. I don't know if she's my lady or not. I don't think so. Not yet. Hopefully. Fingers crossed, bro. Because no cap. I'm a certified lover boy. I, I talked about it on one of the podcasts and the other two unreleased ones. About me just bugging, yo, because I'm really like a SPCA puppy. I, I've been hurt before. You turn that, my, don't turn that motherfucking ceiling fan on around me, because their owner used to whoop that dog's ass 
when they turn the ceiling fan on because they start sweating. They get hot. So they turn that shit on before and the dog remembered it. So now every time that ceiling fan comes on, that dog crazy. You know, start biting people, bro. You, we can't have that. But I, I definitely feel like that dog a lot of times. So, you know, just uh, a relationship to me is scary as fuck. Um, you know, I'm down for it, though. I'm down for it. Uh, but, you know, I, I've just been trying to figure myself out along with figuring this woman out. Um, cause I feel like I question <laughs> if she likes me all the time. Um, and I think she does, but it's definitely me just being so in my head cause I am from the pound. Call me pound puppy bill. Um, you know, I'm from the fucking pound. So, you know, I've been through it, man. I've had some women that just, I feel like every woman I've been with is just, <laughs> they don't like me that much. But I'd be thinking they do, or they come off as such. So I don't know, you know. And I, and, and what I've realized is uh, I don't know. I don't know if we'll date. I don't think we're gonna get married. I don't even. I don't even think we'll date, to be honest. Um, just because. Not that she's wishy washy, but either she she just be she she's just kind of taking it slow. She's either taking it slow, which is probably the, the most likely outcome. She's taking it slow. Or, you know, I'm just, oh, my God, all these negative thoughts are just flooding into my head. You see how that works? You see why I'm trying to train my mind into not being so fucked up? <laughs> uh, hold on. I got to take this pot out of my mouth. Jesus. I need to get off the fucking, get off the nicotine for sure, you know. I've been closed for a while, but the the pods brought me back in. I thought I was done with the once once I kicked the vapes. Once I kicked the vapes, I thought I was good. Look, I'm putting another one right in. Huh? Anyway, and, and you know, it's just a mind to mouth connection. That's like what a lot of people have with anything, with cigarettes, with um, eating, with you know, sucking dick, doing cocaine. I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's just like they, you know, the the, the connection there is crazy. I, read, I heard a story about this lady who tried to replace water with cigarettes, and she drank so much water she died. So enough of a good uh, – too much of a good thing's bad. But, um, yeah, I just can't tell if this lady really likes me or not. And I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm going to tell you guys right now. I really like the woman. I really do. Um, you know, she's a nice lady, and I enjoy my time with her. But what I've realized – is if I sit here and I just fucking, you know, you know, I'm like, oh, oh, she hasn't, she hasn't responded. Baby, 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 baby. Like, what's she doing? Like, that's so fucked up. That's such a shitty thing to think, you know? And, and I, and I really don't, I catch myself, like, still being in this, like, uh, kind of toxic relationship mindset wise. Even though it's not a relation, I mean, it's some sort of relationship. But, you know, I mean, the last girl that I was fucking with, this this is, I haven't fucked with a girl in over, you know, a year, I think, I'd say, a year and a half, maybe. And the girl before, we used to work together, so what she would do is she, she would be all up in my shit <laughs> at work and then drive to her boyfriend's house and fuck him over there and spend the night over there. It's like she's either spending the night at my house or spending the night at the boyfriend's house. So I mean, imagine what that does to your 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 mental there. I mean, it's it's horrible. But you know, I mean, I, I'm a youngin. I'm young, even though everyone's having babies and getting married right now. You know, I, I'm cool, still figuring myself out, figuring out what I want and figuring out who I want. I I guess you know, so it's not really a problem. But I'll tell you what, you sit in that toxic mindset for a long time, you start to. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Kind of changes your brain chemistry, the way your brain works. I will catch myself thinking in like a toxic or a negative mindset. I'm like, come on, get get that out, get that out, and and I'm aware of it. But sometimes I still let the thoughts in, and it's embarrassing because I'm self-aware. You know, I just can't chill. Um, so anyway, anyway, anyway. Long story short, you know, I um, I really fuck, I fuck with the girl. I really do. I, I don't know, 
you know what's what's going on for sure but uh you know if it uh maybe it'll blossom into something nice I, I would like that I definitely would think that's pretty cool you know I'm kind of just letting her you know play it and, and it seems like the more people I talk to you know just my friends and stuff or just the stuff you hear on the internet. I mean, God, don't listen to anything about relationships on the internet. Here I go talking about relationships, and I'm saying don't listen to people. Don't listen to the. Uh, don't listen to anybody <laughs> talking about relationships on a podcast with a panel of guys and women, because they are gonna say the sickest shit every time. I feel like never have I heard anything like, <laughs> like. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take that with me. That's good. Like, every time I hear something about a man or a woman on a panel talking about the opposite sex, it's horrible shit. I mean, it's awful shit. And a lot of it's not true. <laughs> I don't think. I hope it's not. Uh, <laughs> you guys are on the Internet too much. You guys get hurt one time. And this that's what I hate the most about people. Um, you know, one of my friends does it all the time. He got he got his heart broken one time in his life, and he just is the biggest hater. He's the biggest hater against women that like him. He's hating on, you know, I mean, he thinks he'd be shitting on the lady I'm talking to. She's like, she doesn't really like you like that. I'm like, dude, can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> like, can you just let me enjoy this, you asshole? You know, I'm not like you. I'm not like you. My heart can get broken. Because guess what? It'll it'll reform. You guys ever see the episode? That's why I love South Park. I feel like South Park, you know, if these fucking dogs don't stop barking. That's why I love South Park, you know. I told this one girl one time. She drew a picture of it on her Instagram. I told her it was sweet. And she's like, oh, well, that's the most juvenile show ever. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, girl, you, you know, you really need to watch it. You need to delve deep into the lessons. There's an episode of South Park where um, where Butters Butters gets this girlfriend. Girlfriend. That sounds like me. <laughs> he gets this girlfriend, and um, she works at, like, the Hooters. The, the, there's, like, a Hooters for children. Jesus, it sounded horrible. Uh, it's like a children's restaurant. And, you know, you go up in there, and the girl's like, oh, hi, sweetie, blah, 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 blah. And Butters is in fifth grade, so he thinks this girl's in love with her. This sounds like me. <laughs> That's why I wear the butter shit all the time. He's my favorite. And, uh, you know, long story short, Butters finds out that, well, he just thinks she broke up with him. So Butters is all sad. And at the same time, another one of the um, boys, Stan, his girlfriend breaks up with him. And he starts turning goth and emo and blah, blah, blah. And, um... You know, he's outside one day and he's telling and he sees Butters crying on the sidewalk in the rain. And he's like, Oh, well come you know, why don't you want why don't you hate life and why don't you hate everything and blah 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 and Butters tells Stan that yes, I am sad right now, but I am only sad because something made me so happy before um, that I'm able to be this sad right now. So yes, I am sad right now, but eventually, you know, but, but it's okay because I know something can make me that happy again. And, um, I don't know. I just think it's, I think it's like a good, I don't know, just good value to stick by, good lesson to stick by, I guess. Because, you know, a lot of people, they ain't here forever. You know, whether they die or whether, you know, they leave your life or, or whatever the fuck. And if you sit there and, you know, you sit there and, you know, A, what I do, you know, I worry about it and worry about losing the person. Even though I know if they're gone, I'm fine. It's just the, the thought of getting got, got, I guess, you know. I don't know if it's by myself. Probably by myself, you know, just uh, really liking someone that hard and it ends up being poopy. You know, either that or, um, fuck, I forgot. <laughs> it's just all, it's all an experience, I guess, you know? So you can't, you can't take this one, you can't take this one 
you know, horrible thing with you for the rest of your life. I, I mean, that sounds pretty lame to me. You can't, you can't do that because then your whole life will just be like, you know, comparing these other people or being like, oh, is she going to do this or blah, 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 blah. Like, you can't fucking do that, you fucking idiot. You can't. You'll drive yourself up the goddamn wall. Seriously, I'm telling you, I, I do it all the time. So I, what I've realized with this lady is, um, you know, whatever happens, happens. You know, if we end up dating, that's cool. If she ends up finding some other dude, I mean, and, and we stop talking, I guess that's cool too. You know, I can't do nothing about it, and I definitely don't want to be with somebody who does not want to be with me. You know, I don't want to fight somebody for for their attention, for their, you know, for for their love. Or I'm only saying love as a generalization, not like the girls listening to this anyway. Um, you know, I think only a couple of my friends do. Which thank you guys. <laughs> um, you know, you don't want to fight somebody to be in love. Like, it, you know, if if it's really a fight, just let it go. Let it go. You know, and once you learn how to be by yourself, it's pretty cool. It's very cool. And, and you, you feel kind of, not invincible, but definitely a, a sense of like, you know, that came and went. And you just got to, you, you know, I was listening to a video, right? <sighs> Sorry, my chair is squeaky. I was listening to a video and the guy's talking about um, some dude and, and he met this new lady. And the new lady, look, I got to make it look like I'm sitting exactly in the chair. The new lady is, um, you know, they, they talk a lot for hours. They takes for hours and hours on end. And, uh, you know, and then she'll be kind of dry. And, and But when he acts like an asshole, you know, not very interested or blah, 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 or only talks to her when he has something interesting to say, she's rocking with that. She responds very well to that. And he's like, "What? what is that? You know, why? why is that the way it is? And, you know, it's the guy was talking about in the video who was reading the letter. Also, if you're reading this, please write me advice letters. I would love to do that. I've tried to chat GPT him. I'm going to be honest. I tried to fake him. I tried to chat GPT him, and I tried to ask my friends to write me some. They couldn't. So I would love to do, like, an advice, <laughs> you know, read you guys' letters and just give out some good old advice, but uh, <laughs> nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> so I'm, like, <laughs> I'm fucked there. Um, but the guy was telling him, like, look, you know, are you texting all day and for hours and hours on end because you enjoy it or because you're trying to get something out of it in the future, whether it's a relationship or blah, 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 or whatever? And I was like, ah, fuck. You guys hear that little noise I made still? <laughs> but um, yeah, you it's just it's you gotta just enjoy things in the moment. I remember my first girlfriend. She was so sweepy on the bed, and I'm looking at her, and this is my first my first love, you know. And I'm looking at her, and I'm like, God, one day this girl is gonna break my heart, and she did, fucking bad. And uh, you know when it happened. For like a long time, I was like, my life's over. <laughs> my life sucks. But you see, I, here I am. Here we are by the campfire, chilling, laughing, having a good time. I hope someone else is laughing, not just me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, you just got to enjoy the time and not, you know, not focus on, oh, I hope I get more. I hope, you know, this sticks around. You'll lose sense of the moment. And then it'll be gone before you even know it. And that's why you're left so sad. So, you know, I'm hoping, I'm hoping things go well with the lady, uh, the woman. We'll call her the woman. I'm hoping things go with the, well with the woman. I don't know. We'll, we'll let time play out. I am a certified lover boy, though, so it's hard not to just, you know, not to be, you know, I'm trying not to. You know, be too upper ass or just too nice. Can I ask women that though? Why do guys? Why do why do girls hate when guys are too nice? What is too nice? Should I be calling you a slut? Like, what do you want? <laughs>
<laughs> um, you know, so I, I don't really know. Yeah, she, um, I, you know, if you listen to Valentine's Day podcast, I was really conflicted if I should get her a Valentine's Day gift because we were only talking for like, you know, two weeks. But I thought, you know, I made her a little box with chocolate covered strawberries. I made the strawberries and the Oreos, chocolate covered Oreos. You know, it was real sweet. And, uh, and I told this to my friends, by the way. Tell me what you guys think because, <laughs> nah, f- fuck what you think. Fuck what y'all think, actually. I rock with this. Um, Because a girl asked me last week, one of my friends, she lived in Florida, and she's like, she's like, oh, um, you know, I'm trying to get this guy a gift. What do I get him? And I'm like, well, what's the guy in in her, as, what's the relation of the guy to you? And she says, oh, it's the love of my life. (laughs) Like, my future husband. I'm like, well, she's like, I want to get them like a Yeti core, but they're really expensive and blah, 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 blah. And I said, you know what you can do? You can get them any fucking core. It doesn't have to be a Yeti. It's the same thing with women in the purses. And, you know, you want the name brand, I guess, and the guys with the clothes and the belts and blah, blah, blah. I mean, you guys see I'm not into that. Do you guys see what I'm wearing right now? I'm not into fashion at all. I feel like I need to get into fashion. (laughs) <laughs> just somewhat I am working on my own t-shirt right now that's kind of exciting I'll, I'll present it one day and you know if someone wants one what what do I got on right now what what is this <laughs> what am I wearing this is not a hat by the way it's a fucking it's a ski mask <laughs> my sense of fashion is horrible you know to be honest I'm, I'm just a weird guy so I think, am I a weird guy? I'm pretty fun, I feel like. I'm, I'm a fun guy. I'm a little weird, so I feel like uh, <laughs> sometimes, it's, you know, sometimes I'm talking to a lady, you know, especially this one. <laughs> I'm like, why do you like me? I'm such a weirdo. <laughs> Guess I'm just cool. Um, but she was telling me she wanted to get him a cooler and blah, 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 blah. And I said, you know what you should get him? Get them an off-brand cooler. Hold on, I gotta pull this up. It's rubbing against the uh, the jacket out here. I said, get them an off-brand cooler. Get them, get them, you know, get them a cooler. It doesn't have to be super fucking expensive. And um, he should appreciate that. <laughs> like, cause to me, I grew up poor. I guess I'm not t- saying I grew up dirt ass poor, but I grew up poor enough to where. I didn't like getting gifts because I, I knew that they cost money. And I knew how important money is. <laughs> so I hated getting gifts. I still hate getting gifts to this day. I hate receiving a gift. I love Christmas. My favorite part about Christmas is how everything's decorated all the time. And I love giving gifts. I hate getting gifts. Um, cause you know, and then I, people expect like a crazy, wow, oh my God, like, uh, nah, you know, and I think if someone got me a gift that I, that really meant a lot to me, um, <laughs> I, I have gotten one gift where I didn't freak out but then I've like cried about it cause it was just so nice. Um, it was just like a nice gesture. It wasn't like a super nice gift, but the thought that got put into the gift was just so, it was so amazing. I gotta sit up here. I'm getting fucking hot. Oh my God. Sorry. Listen to the ambiance. The effort they put in the gift was very nice. And uh, so I told the girl, I said, just get him anything. Get, you, get, you can make him like a little basket, a little gift basket. And that would be fucking cool. But, uh, so I made this girl this little box on Valentine's Day. I dropped it off at like 3 in the morning, you know, the day of Valentine's Day. And uh, so she, you know, she got it and she liked it, whatever. And then she went out and I guess she felt pressure to go get me a gift. She said she went to the mall. She had never been to the mall there. So the fact that she, you know, went to started her day, you know, went to school, whatever. And then she went to the mall that she had never been in before and was like, I'm going to go find this guy a gift. 
Like, that's already sick enough to me. You can come back empty-handed, I would rock with that. But, um, she got me an air freshener. And it's like a Patrick air freshener. She has one in her car, too. Um, she has a couple of them, actually. A couple of SpongeBob air fresheners. And uh, she got me an air freshener. And now, my friend, the, the hating ass one whose heart is broken and needs to go to therapy, was like, that's a shitty gift. She don't fucking like you, blah, 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 blah. You know, maybe she doesn't. I don't know. But uh, to me, and this is why I told him, I said, to me, the thought of her going to get that gift, the fact that she got me anything was super nice. And then just this last week, um, I had a horrible day at work. Horrible. And I got in my car, and I smelt the air freshener. And I was like, wow. I am really appreciative of that air freshener. That was a great gift. Um, so I don't know. He was shitting on me for it. He thinks she don't like me, but I thought it was a good gift. You know, it's it's really it really is the thought that counts. This is the same guy who, during my sister's birthday, came over to my house. And was like, oh, birthday parties? I didn't know we were in tenth grade. <laughs> and I said, don't be mad because nobody wants to throw you a birthday party. And his birthday came up, and we, I threw him a birthday party. So, and it wasn't nothing crazy. We weren't going out of the club or nothing. It was just, you know, shit at our warehouse. I just decorated it. It was cool. He probably appreciated it. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so I'm just, you know, the ladies is very troubling with me. I have a very troubled past with the ladies. PTSD. But, uh. Um, you know, I'm just hoping things go well, whether I like spending time with her, and if, you know, they come to a fucking, they come to a halt, then they come to a halt, and I'm back just doing what I do anyway, you know? Um, I'll tell you one thing I don't like about this woman, though. I will tell you one thing. She's a fucking soda hater. I hate, I can't stand a soda hater, you know? If you want to, if you want to fucking not drink soda because it's good for you, and Blah, 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 whatever, go right ahead. But don't fucking sit here and ridicule me because I enjoy a nice soda. All right, you piece of shit. <laughs> like, you ever had a Dr. Pepper? They're great. <laughs> They're amazing. Um, oh, my God. I found out she's a soda hater. I was almost, I was almost gone. I was almost done. See ya. Hell no. Hell no. You don't see that dog button video? Oh, my God. That thing's so funny. And you know what's funny about the dog buttons? Did you guys see the one where uh, the lady laid out like a bunch of different buttons with a bunch of different words on it, so they say? And it's like, dog, why? Dog, why? Dog, why? Basically questioning why is it a dog, you know? And I'm thinking there's no fucking chance that this they train this dog these words on the buttons, and the dog is so sentient. That it realizes it's a dog. The people giving the dog the buttons is not a dog. And it's questioning why it is a dog and not a human. Are you? We won't even go that far. But questioning why it's a dog. No fucking chance. What I'm thinking is half the buttons said dog and half the buttons said why. So all you got to do is train the dog to hit it in a pattern, and boom, you get a viral video. Your dog's on Good Morning America because it's the sad dog who knows it's a dog. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, God, that, that was, that's the most ridiculous shit I've seen. But, yeah, I, I can't stand a soda hater. Why, why the fuck? Why the fuck? Oh, my God, bro. Just let me enjoy it. I don't even drink soda that much anymore. But I love soda. I, I, I really do. I really do. Oh, my God, it's so good. It really is. They get you good. If you took a Dr. Pepper back into uh, back in the ancient Roman day, they kill you. They would, they would kill you if they don't die from one sip of a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Those things are so spicy. Um, oh, my God. I had a uh, – so I've been trying to lose some weight here. And uh, – Oh, my gosh. I would like to get down to maybe a 170. I'm a little fat for sure. I mean, fat 
fat for me, you know, I, you know, because I lift weights. I like how my, uh, I like how my body looks. I got a little dad bod, but um, I've been lifting for years, and I would like to see, you know, what I would look like if I put a little effort into, uh, into my body here outside of the gym, because I'd be going crazy in the gym. But uh, man, I've been trying to fight these food cravings. Oh my god. It's, it's bad. It's it's tough. Um, sugar just be getting me so hard. I'm trying to avoid all sugar. I didn't even know till a couple of days ago that some of these Celsius have sugar in them. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I thought they were good for you. No, obviously, they're not good for you. There goes my Celsius sponsorship. <laughs> um, but, man, and so yesterday, you know, and, and I wish I knew more about eating. What I would like to do is eat the same thing every day. I really had this idea where I get a big Tupperware box and I put everything I need to eat for that day in the box. And I just, I, all I have to do is just finish it. You know, I want to be eating for nutrients, not because I'm hungry, you know, whatever. Because the first thing of losing weight, because diets don't work. I'm going to tell you, a diet does not work. You know, if the goal of the diet is to lose weight, and then you go back to eating like shit after, you're just going to gain it back on. You know what? Oh, god damn, I got the hiccups right now. You got to kind of keep, you know, you got to, uh, you got to keep that, uh, you know, you can't be eating like shit after you've been eating clean for, you know, three, four, five months. I mean, your body just, it, you'll put your body in shock. And then you'll be a fat piece of shit again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But, um, man, I've been fighting these sugar cravings. So last night, I'm like, God damn, man, I want I want some ice cream or I want something. So I'm like, I'm going to head up to the store, see what I got. And uh, it was I was leaving the gym, so it was 11 o'clock. So everything's really closed except for this Kroger. I love grocery stores, if you didn't know. I love grocery stores, airports, and hospitals. I just, I love, I, I could do visits. I could do tours on them. And uh, I went to this Kroger marketplace. It was the biggest fucking Kroger I've ever been in. And uh, it closed at 12, so I walk in there. And I'm just seeing what I can eat. What will not be detrimental to me that I can eat. And I walk in, man. I almost didn't get nothing. I'm going to be honest. But I got some... Some uh, low sugar or low fat or, or, or it's called light. It's light Cool Whip. Um, so I got some light Cool Whip and a Diet Dr. Pepper. I walked out of that Kroger. Boy, I couldn't wait. I, I busted that damn Dr. Pepper open on the way to the car. Whew. Almost almost took my breath away. It was so good. So spicy. That motherfucker hit me like a truck. God damn. I don't know what they'd be putting in that Dr. Pepper that'd be making it hit so hard. <laughs> it's crazy. And then uh, the Cool Whip was pretty good, too. I just took, like, a, you know, I just took a couple, not even spoonfuls. I just kind of wiped it off the top and, you know, whatever. Oh, I just can't stand a soda hater, you know? And especially if you're not, you're still, like, not not that you're not eating healthy or whatever, but you're do, you're replacing soda with something else. It's just bad, but you guys should see. I'll I'll give you a tip. I'll give you a tip if you're trying to eat healthier. Read the nutrition label before you eat it. You will not eat it if you're really trying. You will not eat it. It is horrible. And then you know this girl told me, uh, you know when she was younger, she her mom. Her mom didn't fuck with any of the processed shit. So they weren't allowed to have Pop-Tarts. And, uh, oh, Pop-Tarts are just horrible. I mean, they're horrible for you. They, 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 they play them off as, like, something you should eat for breakfast. It's good for kids at breakfast. Absolutely not. Do not eat Pop-Tarts. And, uh, she told me that. She And she was like, yeah, my mom never let us have Pop-Tarts. And they went over to one of their friends' house, her and her brother, and uh, someone gave them a pop tart. They fucked up uh, because I'm sure it was a battle when they got back. Because they, she was telling me, she was telling her mom, "Oh, please get us some t pop tarts, please, please. We want pop tarts." And she's like, "Fuck no!" 
And I'm like, that, that's good. That's good. And <laughs> I remember, like, uh, a couple days after that, my sister went to the store. Oh, man, she got the chocolate chip Pop-Tarts. No frosting on the top, just the chocolate drizzle. Oh, oh, those are the best Pop-Tarts. I don't give a fuck who you are. Those are the best Pop-Tarts. Better than brown cinnamon sugar. Fucking I don't give a fuck what you think. Um, and I looked at him, and I thought of her mom, and I thought, nope, I cannot eat those fucking Pop-Tarts. I cannot. I already, I already know how bad they are for me. But, uh, yeah, it's been a struggle, man. I, I'm really fighting. I'm really fighting. And it's just another fight added on to my life. You know, I'm fighting at work. I'm fighting my, my fat ass internally in my mind with the woman. And then externally with my big ass stomach. I don't think it's that big, but it's, it's too big. And then, you know, I'm, I'm fighting everywhere. <laughs> Fight back, fight back. Y'all see that meme? Oh, where they're jumping some guy. Oh, God. Oh, man. I'll tell you guys what. Back to the fighting real quick. Don't ever fight somebody in real life. I've seen too many videos of people, uh, their head hitting the pavement and having seizures. That is the scariest thing ever. Because you know what that is? That's straight brain damage. When their fingers go like this, when their body tenses up, oh, it's hor it's horrible to see. It really is. I watched a video last week, man, and this girl was on top of this other girl. I know I, I know I, what I said about girl fights, but listen. This girl was on top of this other girl on some pavement. Just took her and foom, foom, and the camera panned away, but she got one more in there. And that girl was done after that cuz there was like a bunch of people fighting. So she just got up and, you know, went to go fight somebody else and oh my god, the 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 look on this girl's, just the look. This, this. What? Hello? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yep. Bye. God damn! Am I gonna have to cut that out, bro? I'm not cutting that out. Ain't nobody making it this far. I'll tell you guys uh, one more story. What else I got? I almost went in that grocery store and didn't get anything. I'll tell you one more thing that I got. You know, oh, I'm such a certified lover boy. The girl's room's really hot. The woman, sorry, the woman's room's really hot. She's got a ceiling fan with one arm on it. So I bought her this uh, sheet, and it's like a cooling sheet. She literally sleeps with the window open, and she lives next to this main road. Oh, my God, I was, I was staying the night over there. I was staying the night. And, man, I woke up about 7 o'clock. Man, meow, meow, meow. Call, meow, you know, siren. I mean, it was horrible. So I bought her a, uh, a cooling sheet for her bed and a fan. And, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know how to pitch it to her. I'm just going to be like, look, this is not me buying you this. Because I'm trying to gain your, your, you know, gain your whatever. I won't say love. Whatever, whatever the L word you can replace it. Like, whatever. Your affection. There we go. I'm not trying to gain your affection with this gift. I just don't want to see you struggle. <laughs> it's so hot in that room. <laughs> oh, jeez. So I bought a little cooling blanket and then one of the big box fans. Those are the best fans. Those are the best fans. I like sleeping with uh, random noises. I sleep. I've I've slept to some weird ones. A uh, air conditioning unit. That's that's a weird one. An air conditioning unit on top of a high rise building. It sounds different. I promise you, it sounds different. I've li listened to uh, ambient noises of a water park and ambient noises of a restaurant to go to sleep. You know, clanging forks, kind of chatter, but you the, you can't make out any distinct words. You know, when you're in a restaurant, it's just chatter. You're not really listening, but you can hear people talking. Type shit like that. And so, I got, I, you know, I'm a certified lover boy. I care about this girl. I'm like, yo, you cannot be this hot every night. Summer's coming up. Oh, my hell. Hell no. Hell, hell no. <laughs> um, so... I got her that. I'm excited to give it to her, not going to lie. I, I am excited to give it to her. Why the fuck would I start talking about this girl again? 
Oh, yeah. I'm just a certified lover boy. I'm just really hoping. <laughs> I hope it works out. But if it doesn't, whatever. Uh, uh, you know, I got I got podcasts to film, TV shows, you know, all this shit nobody cares about. <laughs> I'm going to end up with a horrible job. But that's okay. You know, I've already accepted that, uh, I, you know, I don't need a bunch of money to be happy. I would like to have a bunch so I can do more things. Because that's really the only reason I like, I, you know, I, I even have any interest in money is because it, uh, you know, allows you to do things that you want. But, uh, you know, uh, I can be fine. I would love to be a teacher, to be honest. I would love to be a teacher. I think teaching would be super cool. Um, and I could be cool with that. I could be cool with that. You know, I, I'm I'm simple, but I'm like I feel like I'm a simple guy, but I'm complicated at the same time. If that makes any sense. Anyway, um, last story here. Can I tell you guys about this fucking guy at my gym? Oh my god, this this fucking guy pissed me off. So I switched gyms from a, a commercial gym to more so of a power lifter gym. I guess it's open 24 hours. There's less people there, you know, less people to chat with me and less people I need to avoid. I won't go into that. Yeah, I will. Some girl was like, oh, I'm in love with you. Blah, 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 blah. And then I'm like, all right, well, I can't do that. <laughs> I'm a piece of shit. I can't do that. And she's like, oh, I'll wait for you. Three days later, I'm in the gym. I'm on the fucking bench trying to lock in. Because I got so much going on. I look to my right. She's standing there. And I'm like, yo. And then here comes her boyfriend come out. This dude's fucking huge and jacked. I mean, this this guy is sitting down flat stomach stomach jacked. Um, and I'm like, oh, God. And I would go in there all the time because they went in there late. And I like to go late, less people. And this girl's just kind of crazy. She's a little crazy, so I would... You know, me with my, my crazy mind that just be running around. I'm like, oh, this girl's going to get this guy to attack me with a dumbbell. <laughs> so I switch gyms. <laughs> but the 24 hours so nice. And it's such a nicer gym. Iron Gym, Virginia Beach. This gym's great. Oh, I said the name of the gym, and now I'm about to talk shit about the front desk guy. <laughs> Whatever. Um, so the front desk guy. My my card is on you know I pay on a on a cash app card that's just what I had link because I lose my cards all the time and so you know I've had a text with a guy a couple times he's like oh your payments blah 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 and I'm like oh sorry let me put money on the card but he's really nice about it and uh, I guess he's really nice I was very nice to him I thanked him for his patience for this last interaction. So it's fucking, you know, and I had just seen him the night before. He had caught me. 11 o'clock, caught me. I said, what's up, man? He said, oh, oh, your membership, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I just found my new debit card. I put my new debit card on there. So they don't got to text me no more, ever. And uh, so I walk in the gym, and I got to go. I got to take a piss. So I start walking in the bathroom, and there's one stall, and the guy's shitting in it. Some guy shitting in there. And I'm like, oh, my God, do I, do I piss and not wash? I mean, this is how my brain works because I'm already high. And I'm already, I am already got too much on my mind when I go to the gym. I really try and work it all out, you know. Or just if I start thinking about it, I'm like, I'm not working out hard enough. That's how I work out. If I am thinking about, you know, what is troubling me or something else other than lifting and what music is on, I need to lift harder. And so I'm in there, and the, oh man, you know, and I, I'm scatterbrained. I got a lot on the brain, and I'm like, oh man, this is, this this guy here is is uh, shitting. I'm like, dude, and, and there's a thing. At least I think there is, where you know, you come out of the bathroom, and people are like, oh, you're the guy who was shitting, <laughs> which I'm an idiot. Everybody poops, I think, and. So I'm like, all right, I got to get out of here quick. So I take a piss. I try to wash my hands. One of the sinks doesn't work. I'm getting out. Right when I'm getting out, here comes this guy out the shitter. It's the front desk guy. I'm like, oh, geez. So, you know, I, I walk out the revolving door, and I walk around the front desk, and then there's like a wall, and there's the water fountain right there. 
So I'm filling my water up. And this guy comes around the corner. And all I hear is, how you doing? You know, I'm scatterbrained. I, I'm, I'm, I got a lot on my mind. So I just said, oh, I'm good. How are you? You know what this fucking guy says to me? He goes, I'm talking to my wife, man. You piece of shit. You are horrible. You think I was trying to talk to you? I was only trying to be courteous, okay? Because if anyone in the front lobby is going to ask me how I'm doing, I don't talk to nobody. I don't know one person in there. You know, I know a couple, but they're rarely in there. So no one's in there trying to say hi to me. So I'm just trying to be courteous. And I guess what the guy said was, Hey, gorgeous, how you doing? He was on his phone and his AirPods. I didn't see it. I wasn't even looking. I'm looking at the water fountain. That guy goes, I'm talking to my wife, man. Oh, fuck you, man. I was only trying to be courteous. You're the only person that would ask me that question. So, yes, I am going to respond. And then he tried to save it. Talking about some, oh, I'm, I'm sure you're gorgeous too. I didn't, even, I didn't even say anything. I didn't even say anything. He tried to save it. I didn't even say anything to that motherfucker after that. Talking to my wife, man. Just the way he said it. Oh, my God, man. I think about it every time. I think about it every time. Every time. Every time I see that guy. And, um, <laughs> God, that shit just pissed me off. Like, dude, I am not trying to say hello to you. I do not want to say hello to anybody. I'm working out my inner demons in here. Or I'm trying to. You think I want to strike up some little bullshit chat about how I'm doing and I'm going to say good. I'm not doing good, buddy. Beautiful. I'm not doing good. <sighs> oh, my God. Ah, fuck it. I hate that guy now. You know, it's, it's funny when you go to the gym. You get a gym nemesis. I've had a bunch of them. I've had a bunch of them, especially over at the uh, at the commercial gym I used to work out at. A bunch of fucking douchebags, man. I mean, it's really it's really like high school in there. Even the old guys, it's like high school in there. Everybody's fucking. Everybody's talking about each other. And it's it's horrible. So I don't really get to. And a gym nemesis is really just anybody you don't like in the gym. They could be the same build as you. They could not be the build, same build as you. They could be anybody you just don't like. But the thing that makes them a gym nemesis is you don't talk to them. You never talk to them. Ever. I've had a couple gym nemesis where I hate them. I mean, for years. Because I went to this other gym for years. You hate them for years. And then you're like, hey, you guys are pretty cool. How do you have a conversation like one time? You're like, I, what? I'm an idiot. You know, thinking this guy sucks all the time. Um, <laughs> um, but I'll tell you what. This guy is my gym nemesis. And he's fucking huge. He's huge. All right? I'm not going to lie. He's such a big guy. But now I'm just nitpicking anything he does. Because when I go in the gym, I go pretty goddamn hard. I mean, I'm sweating sweat is dripping off me how hard I try and go in the gym that's why I hate legs Pe people, people like to act like if you hate legs you're a little bitch you know, you know who the real bitch is somebody who likes legs because they're not training them hard enough uh, I train legs and sometimes I'm ready to cry I am ready to cry I remember I went so hard on legs because I was so tired and it hurt so bad. I was like, I, I can't. <laughs> How am I going to continue? Because <laughs> my first three exercises are a are, uh, 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 squat, front squat, and then a hack squat. I mean, that's a fucking ringer right there, dude. If you're not crying after those three. You ain't lifting hard enough. But I'll be in there dripping sweat. And I wear a hoodie every time. Not because I think I don't have the body for a t-shirt. I do. I do have the body for a t-shirt. Shorts, though. I, I never, you know, hide my my legs. I used to be a fat guy, so I'd get away with not training legs. I always did train legs until I got sciatica um, one time. I used to walk around and grab my butt cheek all the time. Sciatica. If you got sciatica, go get that shit checked out because it is horrible. So that kind of got me out of doing legs a lot because when I did legs, oh, boy, that thing would flare up so bad. And uh, so my legs aren't as big as I'd like, like them to be. But uh, I'll wear shorts. It's hoodie, shorts, hat. I don't take off the t-shirt. 
until I'm done. Uh, you know, this place, you, you can take your t-shirt off in the gym, in this gym, and it is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Um, I remember one time this guy, this guy was working out with his girlfriend. And uh, <laughs> this guy was working out with his girlfriend. And I got the vibes that he thought I was, I don't, I, I don't know if I'm making this up in my head, you know, competition, whatever. We felt like apes. I felt like an ape competing with this guy i'm lifting him and his girl lifting over there but we're we're close enough we can see each other and i'm over there and you know we're lifting i he's looking at me i'm like dude come on bro i'm not looking at your fucking woman right now so i move in front of the machines and uh you know at, at a sight and i take my shirt off or my hoodie off i take my hoodie off Man, I walk back to where I was not even a minute later. This guy's shirt's off. I'm like, is this what we're doing here, pal? You want? You, I don't want to do this, okay? Because it, I don't give a fuck what you and your girl are doing in here. I don't give a shit. You guys could be fucking on the, on the bench. Well, I will tell you, I hate PDA in the gym. If you do PDA in the gym, you suck. You, you, you suck, you know, especially because you know a lot of people in the gym are, are trying to not be ugly because they're lonely or maybe they're not ugly and they're just still lonely and you want to bring this little oh let's hug after a set and get that sh out of here are you serious it's ridiculous i made the dogs bark with that one but uh yeah i, I nitpicked the hell out of this guy he he was in there and he start. I was already working out, sweating my ass off. Because, you know, this one guy told me, he said, when I come in the gym, I try and work harder than everybody else. And, and I take that with me every time I walk in the gym. Every time. You know, not that, it's a, not that I'm really watching everybody, but if I look up and look around, I can see some people, they ain't going as hard as me. I'm not saying I go the hardest, because I don't. There are, there's always someone bigger and badder out there. But I do be trying to go pretty hard. And so I'm going hard one day. And I'm in here already sweating. Oh, here comes goddamn gorgeous, shitty, shitty front desk guy. And he's got his hoodie on. And he's big. He's got his hoodie on. So I start, you know, he starts lifting. I mean, this guy's five minutes into the lift. Takes his hoodie off. I'm like, what was what was the point of that? What was the point of that? You just couldn't, you couldn't work out without that uh, serotonin or dopamine boost you get from looking at yourself in the mirror. You can't look through a hoodie and know you're fucking huge, you loser. I rocked the hoodie the whole workout, the whole time. Um, you know, it helps me build up a nice sweat, and I don't really want to look at myself because I might be satisfied with what I look like. And I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. I want to go hard as a motherfucker. So, you know, that that guy. Oh, one more thing about the gym. One more thing. And at the commercial gym, you weren't allowed to do this. At this gym, at this gym, you are. There's no rules against it, I guess. At the other gym, you weren't allowed to bring a bag with you. You couldn't walk around with a big-ass gym bag. This one you can and every time I see someone walking around with a big gym bag, the whole workout, I'm thinking, what the fuck you got in that bag that you got to carry? I mean, I mean, and these are big bags. What the fuck you got in that bag that you got to carry it around all the time? How many times are you reaching into that bag to grab something you need for your workout? Maybe twice? You know, I get it if you're going in. And, you know, you're deadlifting. You need your chalk. You need your straps. You need your belt. You know, whatever. But what the fuck do you need a bag for doing bicep curls? I mean, come on, buddy. What are we doing? What are we doing? You know, and I know there's, you know, shut the fuck up. I, oh, there's bicep. There's bicep thing. Yeah, there's a thing for everything, bro. When I, li when I do chest uh, and I do these, uh, you know, cable crossovers... I put a block in the middle of my back, and I bring the block with me. I bring the block. You know where the block stays until I need it? In my fucking locker. 
not not a piece of shit carrying around a fucking gym bag. If someone carries around a gym bag, please prove me wrong. What do you people keep? You people. What do you gym bag people keep in the gym bag that you got to walk around with it the whole time? Oh, I don't want people to steal it. Buy a lock or leave it in the car. Oh, my God, man. I mean, come on. Especially where my gym is. The lockers are on the app. They're in the gym. You can look at a locker and be like, this person's going through my locker. I mean, I mean, it, I mean, you know, I love the gym, but I hate how, uh, I hate how popular it's getting. I really do. Oh, my God, it's disgusting. Oh, and of course the guy, shitty front desk guy, is walking around with a tripod. <laughs> Come on, dude. I mean, everybody wants to be a fucking fitness influencer nowadays. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's fun, but some people just aren't built for it, you know? Unless you're a woman. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Some women, I, I do like the content they put out, but, you know, a lot of it is just, you know, I, oh, God. That's what I do hate about the gym. It's a lot of booties, and, you know, that's why I didn't like the commercial gym too much. I mean... You know, my friends would be like, "Oh, let's go to Bebe Bebe. Let's go to this one because there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of girls there." Like, dude, what's on your mind right now? You going to the gym to lift and look at girls? Ugh. Oh, it's not the main objective in there, dude. It's a plus, but if you're excited to go look at the girl more than you're excited to go lift, dude, just. I don't know. Just go to a bar. Because <laughs> it's not like you're going to go talk to him in the gym. That's like one of the worst places to go talk to a woman is in the gym. You literally have to have like an established presence. You know, I was going to this commercial gym for years. And so that's how people would come up and talk to me. I'd talk to other people or blah, 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 whatever. You know, girls would come up and talk to me randomly sometimes. And it was fucking crazy. I couldn't believe it. Um... Oh, God, gym culture is just so douchey nowadays. Uh, I, I I, mean, what happened to people lifting and being quiet about it because they fucking hated themselves? What happened to that? That's why I got into lifting. <laughs> oh, God, so I'm, I'm just a fucking big old hater today. I'm a big old hater. Oh, man, I would love to keep talking about the gym. Oh, one more gym story. I got one more gym story. I know it's a long podcast. No one's no one's getting through to the end anyway. And, uh, you know, I have a couple friends that complain about podcasts being long. Don't fucking listen. It, it's supposed to be long. TikTok has ruined your fucking brain. You can't just relax and, and listen to something that's longer than fucking four minutes. I mean, come on, people. I'm talking to you, Zay. <laughs> Name drop. <laughs> He's like, oh, hour, hour is too long for a podcast. I'm like, dude, if you listen to any podcast, like any really big podcast, I listen to podcasts that are two and a half la hours long. Like, you know, and then they w and then people wonder why when we do podcasts with other people, they don't go well. I mean, you cut the camera on, you cut the camera on ju and just think it's going to be good. And fuck no. What a lot of big podcasts do is they'll turn the camera on when they sit down, and then they'll cut in. They might do an intro, and then they'll cut in to an interesting part or, or whatever when everybody starts feeling comfy. I mean, you get people down in front of a big-ass camera and, you know, just be like, go ahead, talk, and then you have that pressure of being entertaining. On top of that, it's it's horrible. Even even I get it in the room. That's why I like doing my podcast in my room. Anyway, last gym story here. So uh, this is when I was younger. I was maybe 19. And uh, so I'm in the gym. And the way the racks are set up, there's a squat rack and then a deadlifting platform behind it. And that's how a lot are. And it's boom, 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 boom. There's four of them. And, it, you know, it was a Friday, deadlift day, with my friends. So I have one of my friends with me. We always deadlift on Fridays, so we're, you know, that's how we start the workout. So we're sitting against the wall behind behind everybody. We're just sitting down, 
So I FaceTime my friend. So I'm FaceTime my friend sitting on the ground like this. And wouldn't you know, there's a gym lady in front of me. You know, and she's got her ass up, her shorts. We know what time what time it is when she goes in there. She's going for the attention. She is. I know she is. And because uh, I've seen her in there before, yap yap yapping with all the, all the big guys who think they're about to get a piece of that. And so uh, I'm sitting there on Facetime. I'm like, hey, 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 Jay Diggle, why don't you come out out here and uh, do some deadlifts? Blah blah blah, whatever. And the FaceTime put it away. And uh, so the guy in front of her, big ass dude. Oh, we were squatting, maybe. We were squatting. We were definitely squatting. Um, because I went up to him and I said, hey, uh, are you done with this rack here? And he goes, ugh. I said, are you done? He goes, yeah. I go, okay, you fucking dick. And so we get about a set into, into doing squats. And it's right in front of the girl. And the girl walks up to me and goes, um, that guy over there told me that you were taking pictures of my ass. And um, I don't really appreciate it. It's just really disgusting and blah, 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 blah. I said, I was on FaceTime with my friend. I can show you my camera roll right now. She's like, I, I, I don't need to see it. It's just really gross and it's standing here and blah, 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 blah. So as she's going off on me, I pull my camera out. And I don't know if you guys have heard of a mangina. But it's when a guy tucks their uh, dingling in between their legs and then uh, kind of hold it. So it looks like they have a mangina. And uh, that was the last photo in my camera roll was uh, uh, of, of me doing a mangina. So I showed her. I showed her the camera roll. I said, this is the last photo I took. And I clicked it. She was pissed. She was pissed. She didn't say anything to me. Um, <laughs> and I remember she was so mad because I could see her talking to these other big guys in here pointing at me. And I only saw her one more time after that. You know, she was up on the upper platform, and I saw her, and she's staring at me. And I went, <laughs> I never saw her again. <laughs> oh, God, people are horrible in the gym. All right. Well, we got a long-ass podcast here, but whatever, you know. Who the fuck is actually going to listen to it all anyway? If you do, I appreciate it. I hope you like the little nice ambiance we had here. And if you're listening, write me a goddamn letter. Write me a letter. Give me fake. I don't care. You can be about anything. <laughs> I just want to help people. <laughs> all right, well, that's the end of the podcast. I hope you guys... uh enjoyed it and uh i'll see you guys next time get outside it's uh it'll be nice soon so get outside see ya